morning friends and welcome to a new vlog um i just thought i would start vlogging today and um yeah it's eight uh what time is it it's about eight twenty um and your hello princess you've got me in my full morning glory um big bags under my eyes um yeah but I'm awake, I'm up, the boys have gone to school and um, I thought I'd just start a new vlog because it's been a while since I've done a vlog and also I'm getting my eyebrows tattooed today, uh, never had it done before, slightly scared and worried, Ooh. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, <clears throat> we will see. Let's just go into the front room and sit down for a minute so I can talk to you guys. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so I am slightly worried, slightly scared. Hello, princess, um, about having my eyebrows tattooed. But it's been something that oh, she wants to be nosy. What well, do you want to be nosy? Huh? You want to be nosy? Say hello then. Say hello then, missus. <laughs> um yeah so getting my eyebrows done is something that I've wanted to do for quite a while um but been very scared to so um I'm just getting sick of having to fill them in all the time so these are my eyebrows in their natural state um and I normally kind of fill them in just to make them look a lot more presentable um but yeah I'm just getting sick of it and I've the um, beauty salon that I'm going to, they, um, they're the ones that I always go to to do my lashes when I have my lash extensions put on. Um, I haven't had them done for quite a while. I just wanted to give myself a break. Um, but they're the ones that I normally go to and they really do really good tattooed eyebrows. Like they do an ombre. So that's what I'm having, like an ombre, which is like where it's sort of finer strokes at the... Um, bit here and then it goes a bit more prominent towards the end um so i'm having that um i'll try and bring you along if i can if not you'll see the after results um but yeah i just yeah i'm just wanting to do this because i think eyebrows make such a difference to your face um and when you don't have makeup on so you know in the mornings when i you know or just when I can't be bothered I don't have to worry about oh my eyebrows are not done um and I could just put a bit of concealer under my eyes and feel you know half not dead <laughs> um so yeah so I thought I'd bring you along but I just thought I'd say happy Wednesday and um I'll bring you along on to my day um and maybe a few days we'll see how we go this is part of my pet hate about having boys Guys, if you would have seen the state of these boots uh, probably an hour ago, you guys would have been like, uh, I don't envy you. Honestly, they um, both, Kamali plays rugby, Zion plays football, and on Sunday when they both come home, they just threw their boots down and just left them outside in the garden and they were so muddy it was like ugh um but I did buy Zahn a boot buddy um which is like a a brush that you put water in and you scrub it but uh some for some reason he didn't bother doing it this week um so this was my job this morning to get these boots clean which is a pain in the backside but it's done now thank god they smell lovely and fresh I'm just going to go and put them by the radiator so they can dry for them to get muddy again on the weekend <laughs> this is the joys of having boys and the joys of parenthood I guess but um yeah pain in the backsides so guys on goes the um let's see if I could just I'll just pop them on the radiator like that um I'll just balance them on the radiator so they can dry um, so they could stay there and dry, um, ready for the weekend. Um, but I've just run my little Dyson over this rug with the, um, uh, long thing, the, uh, sharpie looking one. Um, 
that's why it's got the lines in the rug but I kind of like that because then you know that it's been cleaned like it's been hoovered um so yeah it's looking really festive in here which is nice oh let me put my little let's uh I don't know if I can bend down hold on a second guys uh, pull this out there we go had to bend down to put my little Christmas tree on oops there we go so that reindeer on that side actually lights up as well but I've not put no batches in it I need to put some batches in it um but it's looking really festive in here which is really nice so love getting up in the morning um putting the Christmas tree lights on because it's so dull um at the moment um in the UK um this is meant to have candles going around but I didn't want to put candles around for now I just put one in the popped one in the middle um so yeah looking really festive it's so dull in the uk um we've got christmas presents under the tree already they're for all my nieces and nephews um so yeah i'm pretty much kind of done for nieces and nephews still got to get a few more bits for the boys but um yeah not going ott this year um just because yeah it's just not a year that i really feel that we should do there's so many more things going on in the world actually um so we're just going to enjoy christmas and um yeah just enjoy being um together i guess and being alive um but yeah so front room's tidy i'm gonna go up and have a shower that's me in the mirror hi guys um yeah i'm gonna go um up and have a shower um so yeah so guys i'm so impressed with my new kettle that i bought on black friday um sales i love the fact that it's like see-through um really really loving it uh love the blue lights totally obsessed with keep boiling the kettle shouldn't really but i keep boiling the kettle um just to look at it <laughs> such a sad -o. um so yeah just gonna make myself a cup of t uh, a cup of hot chocolate actually i've gone really gone off of drinking tea or coffee for some reason um but I'm just gonna make myself a cup of uh, hot chocolate um and then i'm gonna go up and have a shower so yeah oh kettle's done let's make a hot chocolate favorite hot chocolate is this instant galaxy it's so yummy it's so nice i just have it with mix it with water so yeah really really love that hot chocolate um i just was like rearranging my spice rack because um yeah i've got like so many spices um and seasonings and stuff like that so literally i was just trying, like, reorganizing this because this was such a mess um, but it's all okay now, so I'm happy with that. This is just like an Ikea wheelie um, pull-along thing. Um, so, yes, I just prefer having it on this because when I had it in the cupboard, all my seasonings and spices were, like, some of them were in the back and I couldn't see what I had and what I don't have. So now I just put it all on here and then it's all sort of yeah in one place so whenever i'm like cooking with the boys we can just reach over and get what we need off of here so i really love that um so yeah but um let's get back to making my hot chocolate so i walk into my bedroom and this one thinks my bed is her bed and she knows i'm talking about it because she's moving mrs mrs yeah i'm having a good um pain day today um but i need to not uh sorry about the light i took my lamp thing down <laughs> um because when i do my makeup i just felt like i couldn't see properly so i took it down so i could have a bright light I need to get a change really um but anyways let me sit down um yeah i'm having a good pain day today i'm feeling okay which is not like me <laughs> um so yeah, I need to get in the shower. I really need to get in the shower. I need to stop talking to you guys and I need to get in the shower. But um, yeah, I'm having a good pain day, which is really good. It's been a while since I felt this good. Um, my pain is low today for now. 
uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna get too excited because I could be okay right now and then in the next five minutes be in pain where I literally can't move. So um not gonna talk too soon. Um but I'm gonna go get in the shower, I'm gonna go give my face a scrub um and yeah sort my life out. <laughs> So guys, I am out of the shower and dressed um, and I'm pretty much all ready to go to do my eyebrows. I haven't done anything to them right now because I just thought there's no point. Um, and I've just put a bit of concealer on under my eyes just to get rid of those bags um, and just put a little bit of blush on my cheeks. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, um, just tied my hair back today um, in a bun. Oh, someone wants me. So that was my brother on the phone. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, um, I'm all ready to go. I've just got on, I actually wore this yesterday, um, but I didn't have it on for that long, so I just put it back on today. Um, so I'm just wearing a Simply Be, um, jumper and i've got my simply be leggings on the ones with the little lines down the front um if you can see uh i don't know how to show you but anyways i've got those on and then i've got um just a pair of black sort of uh there you go so the leggings with the lines down the front and then i've just got a pair of like suede um simp i've got them from simply be chelsea um boots on so yeah i'm just wearing all black today i'm gonna be um laying there for about three hours she said it takes about three hours so i just want it to be comfortable so that's why i put leggings and just a jumper on because when you're laying in one space it can get a little bit chilly as well um so i just decided decided to uh, just put some something warm on um and i've got all black on um but yeah i'm gonna call myself an uber um because oh, i don't know if i told you guys but my car got stolen um so i haven't got a car at the minute and my new car arrives next week um so i'm without a car which is so hard but i don't go anywhere anyway i'm always at home more or less most of the time um so um yeah uh exciting go to get my eyebrows done and i'll take you along mm, scary see you in a bit so guys i've just got to the salon i'm just waiting outside because um you have to go in when it's your appointment um so i'm just waiting outside until they call me in um i'm really really nervous i'm so scared it's gonna hurt i'm such a chicken um but yeah just wanted to let you guys know that i'm here and um i will be seeing you at the other end and hopefully my eyebrows will look nice um but yeah So guys, I am back from having my eyebrows done. Um, they are slightly, I've got such a banging headache. First of all, my head is banging. Um, and they're slightly um, browny tinged colour. Um, she said because obviously um, that's the colour it comes at first. And then she said that it will start to get crusty, dry over, get darker and then it will peel off and then you'll it will reveal the actual colour of the eyebrows. But we went for a lighter uh, dark brown. Um, there is a tone that's darker than this. So I'm going to be going for a top up in five weeks time. And she said when I go for the top up in five weeks time I can go darker. So go the, t the, t the colour darker. So that's what I'm probably going to do. Um, hi boys, whose birthday is it tomorrow? Mine. It's Zion's birthday tomorrow, he's going to be 13 years old. Hello Marley, why does your shirt look like that? What? It's hanging out at the bottom. How are you? So this is it from this angle, as you can see, it looks quite Albany coloured. Um, and she just said that they will 
again as i said they will change color but because they've just been done my head is absolutely banging um just yeah but i'm happy the shape is the shape that i would normally do when i do my makeup so happy about that um so yeah we'll see how we get on over the next few days to see how it heals but i'm going to take some paracetamol now because my head is really hurting um Zion, you're gonna have dinner don't do someone's getting excited because he asked for nutella and i bought it because i don't normally buy nutella don't normally buy it never buy it no i never buy nutella yeah because i just think it's just not needed um so yeah but we're gonna get on with dinner are you excited it's your birthday tomorrow yeah how old are you gonna be 30. so what are we making tonight we're just gonna make some spaghetti and some a spaghetti sauce with some pochetta inside some cheese on top and we've got these garlic cheese breads and this black garlic flat Kirby bread so that should be nice um so yeah that's what we're doing for dinner i think the boys have run away and left me my little helper helper what are we making spaghetti uh, bacon pancetta it's got pancetta darling pancetta Ooh. with prego we always need prego what's prego Sauce. Prego? That's yeah. tomato, tin tomatoes. I think he means the Oh, brand. he means, um, you're talking about, um, not that. You're talking about this. Look. Pesto. Uh, pe this stuff. It's called Prego. That's called, it's called pe that one. Prego. Prego. Don't say Prego. <laughs> <laughs> we are not using that. We made our own sauce today. Pringle. We're just waiting for the spaghetti. I think that's how you pronounce it. Cause I pesto. Think... It's called pesto. No, it's, it's, I think Italians pronounce it pesto. So, good evening, guys. Um, I just thought I'd jump on um, from the comfort of my bed. Um it's uh what time is it i think it's about almost eight o'clock um and i am so tired um just going and getting my eyebrows done oh, has really um knocked me for six um my hair so frizzy um the boys are making noise which is not helping because i have a headache um sort of having my eyebrows tattooed for like the whole appointment took about three hours um and yeah um she was tattooing for about two hours i think um or an hour and a half i would say um so <sighs> towards the end was really giving me a headache like my head was really hurting here um so yeah and the headache hasn't gone away um it's not as bad it's calmed down a little bit but it's really like i can feel it here um so yeah i'm really happy with them i'm just not happy with the color but she did say that that is always that what happens the color does change um so i'm hoping that the color does change but if not she did say when i go for my follow-up appointment she can make them darker um so yeah i think that um if they don't go darker or if they don't go as dark as i want them to be because i feel like they're like a albany sort of brownie color which i'm not happy with i, I want them to be like a, a dark brown like blacky brown if that makes any sense um so yeah so 
we'll see um but overall i'm happy um with the shape so that's the main thing um but yeah i'm just absolutely knackered i'm just gonna get the boys to sort themselves out for get ready for bed <sighs> then i think I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna be asleep by half past nine i know it i'm just because i can just feel how tired i am but i just wanted to check in with you guys we had our dinner really yummy actually we had um spaghetti we made like a um i think you see i think i videoed it a little bit um but we had we made like a tomato sauce with pancetta um and then we mixed the spaghetti in with the sauce which was really nice um topped with a little bit of cheese on top and then we had some like garlic flatbreads which were nice um so yeah that was really yummy um and we enjoyed that um and then oh god i don't know how many times i've yawned in this in this little um clip um i also plaited Zan's hair because he um has swimming tomorrow at school um and he can't manage his hair when it's out like a big afro um and they have to wear a swimming hat and he can't get a swimming hat on his head when it's like a big sponge head um so i plaited his hair this evening and um his hair's all nice and neat and it's his birthday tomorrow as well so he's got nice neat plaits in his hair for his birthday which is yeah nice um so yeah but actually i thought i'm saying i'm gonna be asleep by half nine i have to get up and blow balloons up because we always i always do balloons for the boys um when they're sleeping so i'll probably get up in the night and blow balloons up um but yeah but anyways i will check in with you guys tomorrow morning um so ciao for now bye good morning um just thought i'd jump on and say good morning it is what's the time um it's thursday morning and it is um i think it's about 9 30 or quarter to 10 actually um i've just got back from the school run um and i'm just putting a little bit of makeup on um to start filming um i'm gonna film a in the style um clothing haul i've never done an in the style clothing haul before so this is um exciting something new um something different bring you guys a different brand than what i've already previously done um my eyebrows are still saw this morning um i'm trying to just put makeup um just on the bottom half of my face i'm not really putting anything on top apart from a little bit of concealer here if you can see there um but yeah she just said to try and don't put makeup on them um so i'm trying to put the minimum amount of makeup uh near them um i wouldn't have put makeup on today but I need to get filming um so i just decided to um put a little bit of makeup on just to do my filming so yeah they are still very brown um which i'm not a fan of but loving the shape so that's a good thing um so yeah it's um my son's birthday today he's 13 so he is very um sorry if i'm not looking at you guys i'm like literally trying to do my makeup at the same time he was very very happy he had me up at 5 5 45 this morning i was like really um so yeah um he opened his presents and he's really happy um with his presents um he got he 
it didn't look like he got much there was only like four presents for him to open but when they get older they're so expensive um so what he did get was um he got a he asked for a tracksuit um which cost me over 100 pounds because he's now in men's clothes so that was really expensive um and then he got i got him a radio for he uh, a, a bluetooth speaker radio for um for the shower because he is always going in the bathroom with his phone playing music while he's in the shower so i got him a bluetooth uh shower radio um which um it's a lot better sounds really good he was in there this morning playing the music dancing while he was in the shower so he was uh really pleased with that um and i bought him a watch and a new seat for his bike so he done quite well um he's happy so that's the main thing as long as he's happy that's the main thing um so yeah but apart from that that's all that's happening today i'm going to do some filming and put some blush on <sighs> um yeah i'm going to do some filming and do some get some pictures um for my instagram feed i'm trying to build my instagram um it's grabbing um but it's really hard work trying to grow your instagram um so yeah i look really pow on the camera but in real life i look quite peachy <laughs> So yeah, but I'm going to finish off my makeup and um, I'll probably come on and uh, speak to you in a little while. Ciao. So guys, um, I've just finished doing my makeup and I'm about to start filming my In The Style um, video. Um, just finishing off my hot chocolate. Um, so yeah, I thought while I'm just drinking my hot chocolate, I might as well talk to you guys. Um, and I was just thinking, like, obviously, just like telling you the procedure of what actually happened. Because obviously yesterday I was like, oh, I'm out. I've done, you know, my eyebrows are done. But it was really, really nice to, like, not nice, but I was really comfortable with the procedure and um, the way she explained to me step by step what was going to happen so when i first went in i had to obviously fill out um a form to say i give consent and stuff like that that was a bit scary because there was loads of papers like loads of consent forms i was like oh god this is serious um but yeah when i went into the room i know the girls in this beauty uh, beauty salon because that's where I go to get my eyelashes extensions. When when I want to have my eyelashes put on, I always go to these two girls. Uh, so yeah, I I was I know who they are. So that was nice. Them um, they're very welcome welcoming, and um, she explained to me step by step everything that she was gonna do. And um, because I did say to her like I was actually quite scared because I'm scared of needles. So you know, but doing my eyebrows was something that had. I'd wanted to do for like quite a long time for probably over a year now um like over a year just over a year or a year or so I've had it in my mind that I really want to get my eyebrows done um before then I thought about it but thought no I can't what if they do them wrong what if I don't like them you know I'm permanently stuck with I these eyebrows that they might do wrong um so I was a bit like you know but then about a year ago I started seeing a bit more about these permanent semi-permanent eyebrows tattoo brows and I started seeing ones that look really really good and I was like oh, if I could get a you know a good beautician to do them like that then maybe I would like to have them so yeah so I've really um you know the last couple of months was like do you know what I'm really really thinking about honestly doing it um so obviously i i booked them um, and i've had them done 
that um, when I got to uh, the um, beauticians and I went into the room, she really calmed me down because I said, I'm a bit nervous. And she said, no, there's nothing to be nervous about. You can just let me know if it's hurting at any point. You can just tap my tap me or just say it's hurting and um, I'll stop and put some more numbing cream on. Um, but before she even started tattooing, she um, obviously went through the steps of what she's going to do. And she measured my eyebrows out. She drew them on first with like an eyebrow pencil. Um, and she got them exactly how I like my eyebrows. And at first when she done them, they were a little bit too straight up here and I was like no can you just curve them a bit more so we really like took our time and the whole appointment was like three hours um so she really took her time to make sure that they were drawn on exactly how I like them um and especially when I said I don't want them too dark here I want them to like blend so these what I've got are called ombres which are like blendable so they go fairer here and then darker towards the end um as you can see here um but the thing that I was a little bit like confused was, was what colour? And she showed me two colours and she showed me the darkest colour and then she showed me one lighter. And she was like, you can always go darker, but you can't go lighter. So be sure in the colour. And that kind of scared me. And I was like, oh God. So I went, okay, don't do the darkest, do the one light, it. do the one just under which is what I've got um I, w I wish I'd done the darker one now um because I don't think the darker I would have been like you know I don't think I would have been upset by it I think it would have been fine because I do feel like these are a little bit too light but they are quite brown um at the moment but she said that they are gonna scab over they are gonna um change color so she said that they are gonna go darker so we will see but she said trust the healing process so that's what i'm doing i'm i'm happy with them um apart from obviously wanting them to be a slightly bit darker i'm really happy with them um it was really sort of um ugh. when she first started doing it i was like oh is that it but as she carried on like going with the needle I think the first few pricks and stuff like wasn't so bad but because she had to keep because she has to fill it in and and she has to keep going I think that's when it started getting a little bit oh um but then she put numbing cream on which stung a little bit but once it started numbing it wasn't so bad um but towards the end because obviously she was going for about two hours and um, the whole appointment in itself was three hours um and i think she took about an hour to measure them out um draw them in and stuff like that so she was tattooing for well over an hour an hour and a half um and yeah towards the end it was starting get it was starting to get quite um like um a bit unbearable not unbearable like i could i could take it but i was getting a uh, quite a bit of a headache here um my hair was tied back like this so i guess maybe because my hair was tied back as well um and obviously the needles on my forehead like there was probably just causing yeah i just got a headache and it was getting really quite sore because as she was tattooing she kept wiping so i think the friction of her keep wiping because i think she has to keep wiping to see what she's tattooed i don't know because i'm not I, you know um but yeah but nevertheless like um when it was finished i was really pleased with them i'm really really happy and i'm so glad that i took this step to do it because just waking up in the morning not having to do my eyebrows like i do have this shape eyebrows this is my eyebrows um but they just were a little bit empty like there were like bits that needed filling in and every morning having to fill them in or i did use the used a maybelline tattoo brow which would last like a day or two don't last that long um but this is just like i can wash my face and just wake up and just have eyebrows on so i'm just so happy uh with them so yeah but i just hopefully hope that they do go a little bit darker that's my main thing but if you guys if anyone's ever thinking of having like semi-permanent brows done um, I know it's only my second day, but I would actually highly recommend if you have eyebrows where, 
you know, you've got gaps in them. And no matter how much I'd let my eyebrows grow, I would still, you know, have gaps um so i'd still have to use a pencil to fill them in um so yeah if you're like me who has like gaps even if you've tried to grow them and you've still got gaps i would highly recommend having your eyebrows um there's all different types so this is ombre a friend of mine uh, is having um the like strokes so like lines so it looks like hair strokes so you can also have that there are like a few different procedures so yeah but really really love this i'm really happy with them um so yeah but anyways i'm gonna stop speaking i'm gonna finish drinking this and get on with doing my filming because this video that i'm filming needs to go up tomorrow um it's thursday today and friday um to friday is the day that i normally put up a video so um i don't normally leave it this late in the week um i normally have some already filmed but there was a bit of a mix up with the delivery of the items and also it's my son's birthday today it's son's birthday so i've been a little bit busy with like getting things ready for his birthday and um obviously i had my eyebrow appointment yesterday so yeah i'm really behind so i'm gonna get going and get this um video done so i can put this up tomorrow for you guys um but i will come on and speak to you later i'm actually hopefully if i feel well enough i'm gonna be doing another video tonight i'm gonna be doing a um skincare uh evening routine um so yeah so that will be taking off the makeup and just showing you the products that i use and the equipment that i use so um hopefully if i feel well enough i'll be filming that this evening which isn't too much strain on me because i'm not getting in and out of clothes or anything i'm just you know going to be washing my face and putting creams on my face and stuff so that won't be too um too hard but anyways let me go and i will catch up with you guys in a little while bye good afternoon friends hello and happy friday uh yeah friday um i'm in my maxi sweatshirt dress i'm not quite sure what it's called but i find this so comfortable um I've had a bit of a, not a busy morning, but um, I had to go to the post office to drop off um, all of those in the style clothes um, because none of those were getting kept. So I had to take that back, um, did a little bit of shopping, just like a few little bits of fruit um, and um, I was really, really happy actually because uh where i live it's um sort of like predominantly white people um so to get the sort of um uh what do we call it um urban no is it called urban nope authentic i don't know what it's called but the type of food um that we like to use when cooking we i can't buy around in my area um and today when me and my son was in town the um local um um the local i can't think straight because i'm a little, little bit of pain today so but the local um fruit and vegetable had some yams and some garden eggs so garden eggs if you don't know what garden eggs are like the they are part of the aubergine family so they taste like aubergine um i think i'm saying that right um so they had garden eggs they had plantain or plantain depending on how however you say it um so i was really excited and really really happy and i just said to them that like you know it's great that they're starting to do uh these other um sort of veggies and stuff because i normally have to travel out and the area that i live in i've been living here for like eight years and there's um i can't really source anything that um we use in terms of hair products or uh food wise some of the foods that we eat um i.e even like scotch bonnet um peppers 
they're really hot peppers we can't buy them here so when I see that they had them on the store I was just so so happy and I just said to them thank you so much for you know starting to be a bit more inclusive um so I said to them I really really appreciate it so thank you and I think they were a bit overwhelmed because I actually said thank you to them um so they said that they've had such a good response with um having different um vegetables and uh so yeah so it's great oh the postman's at the door he's gonna knock come on did you get that it. great um oh, there we go um so sorry about that um so what else um so yeah so we got some veg um do you want to spray it with the um disinfectant spray and then um go and wash your hands um so yeah so we've got some fruit and veg which was really really great um and then what did we do i came home and i had some admin to do some work on a computer and my older son is doing school from home um, because they've had like a few cases of COVID-19 in his year group. So leave them there, Kamali. Thank you. Um, yeah, so they, um, I keep saying, um, I'm really sorry, guys. So they are homeschooling now. I'm homeschooling my older son. He's working from home. Uh, so yeah so we got home and he started homeschooling so he logged on to start his homeschool we wasn't out for long we was only out for about an hour this morning the school run we leave at 10 to 8 so we got back about quarter to 10 uh about 9 45 yeah um so yeah so we did that and um what else update on my eyebrows oh dear i haven't got you on the tripod i've just like lent you on the sofa so it's a little bit um you're a little bit wonky um what's up you want to say hello hello <laughs> um kamali's just got home from school so he's happy it's friday um yeah so i am about to put some washing on the clothes horse um so i follow a really lovely girl who um suffers with fibromyalgia the same as me um and i think she has some other chronic illnesses um i follow her on instagram she follows me uh and she started her own online store which is called chronic chronic the chronic store um no chronic store.co.uk um, and she has some really great stuff on there um, lots to do with like chronic illnesses like she does some like um, jumpers that have uh, how many spoons do you have left so if you have chronic illness and you know about spoons then you'll know the phrase like how many spoons you have left um, and also she's got um, some other bits so she does like a, a chronic illness um, diary which is really really great i'll show you that um in another uh video because i'm actually going to do a video all dedicated to chronic illness and talking a bit more about that and some other uh sort of stuff that i have to show you in regards to living with chronic illness but she sent these bits out to me which are so nice she sent me like a little package with some of the stuff that they sell on a chronic store which I think it's great um, there is uh, some little sort of cards that you could give someone just if they're feeling a bit down for the day this one says just a reminder in case your mind is playing tricks on you today you matter you are you're important your love and your um, and your presence on this earth makes a difference whether you see it or not so they're just cute little um, little cards little that you could give someone um so she's got some other ones here distance means so little when you mean so much so another lovely little card and then there's like some other like cards here with some nice um sayings on them uh and then there are some like notepads so this has got like three things to do so if you know like living with chronic illness sometimes it's a struggle to get through the day and you know do things that need to be done in the house like i'm actually struggling today if you cannot see i am really struggling today um i'm even struggling to talk because i feel so sort of fatigued and confused and all sorts um but 
uh, what am I saying? Um, yeah, so today has been a struggle. And so these are great. So if you feel like you're having a hard day, um, sorry, upside down. If you feel like you're having a hard day, you can write through things that you want to get done for the day. You want to try free maybes, it says here. Um, and then free self cares because to be honest when I feel really bad and unwell I honestly self care goes straight out the window um, even down to like cleansing my face and stuff like that if I feel really unwell I, I literally can't um, I'm mobile so I'm moving but I'm just my head's banging sorry if it's noisy the washing machine's on so it's making a little bit of noise I'm I, I've actually what have I done today so I've put I've just hung the washing out uh, my son put the washing in so he loaded the washing machine put the washing on he took it out for me and I've just put it onto the clothes horse um, and um, I also just went upstairs to take the shower curtains down because they needed a wash I don't like my shower curtains to look dirty and they're minus like bright white so if you don't wash them regularly like at the bottom starts getting sort of like a, a browny colour if you don't keep on top of them so um, I wanted to take them off and wash them so I did I've done that and that's what's in the washing machine um, and then all I need to do today is I just want to put the rest of the washing up away and wipe the sides down and dinner tonight is going to be either something really really simple um, or yeah because I just my back hurts my arms I can feel the pain through my muscles um, and yeah I'm just not having a very good day so I'm going off on a tangent because I'm going into things like this that's what happens when your brain's not working properly um, so yeah so this was really nice a nice little uh, uh, lot of stuff that she sent me which I will go through more in depth on a um, video about chronic illness because I have some other products coming which I want to share with you guys so I thought I'd keep it all um, and, sh and put it all into one video so that would be great. Um So the evening guys, um, I just thought I'd jump on and end this vlog um, because um, I just feel really, really awful today. Um, I've tr obviously tried to do a bit of vlogging today, um, I've done a few bits but I'm in so much pain and I feel really fatigued. Um, so I'm just going to chill out on the sofa and... Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here and hopefully oh, I'll see you guys um, in my next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, God bless. Bye guys.